What's going on YouTube? So um, today I'm going to talk about a book bag that I got because uh, the bag I was carrying wasn't very good. It was a very flimsy bag so in the wind and stuff it flopped around. It was just a pain. So I got a new book bag and uh, it's a riding bag. And I kind of want to just go over some of the things with it and tell you my opinion of it. The bag is made by Viking Bags and uh, a little bit about the company. So they're like ranked number two for like saddle bags for cruiser style motorcycles. I don't know if you can see it back there. But, um, you know, I drive a Yamaha R3, so don't really have a cruiser style bike. They do make saddle bags that work with it, and I intend on getting those. But for right now, I figured I'd just go ahead and go with the book bag. Just because, you know, this fits more of my daily use, and uh, I don't think the saddle bags they came with would really carry like my work laptop and stuff. And that's one of the big things with my job is, you know, when I'm going to work, I need to be able to carry my lap. So the first thing I was pretty skeptical about was I wasn't uh, entirely sure that a writing book bag was really much different than a regular book bag. And so I test this a lot. A um, few things that I did notice, it does have a little bit less storage space, but that's because it's supposed to be slimmer to your body. Uh, it's supposed to get less of a, a draft against it and stuff and not really affect you while you're riding. Um, it's very solid. So it's, it's a very stiff bag. That way, you know, if you do fall, uh, it's going to protect your gear and everything, whatever you've got inside of it, a little bit better. Um, it does have inside of it a, well, let's see how we unzip this guy here. So I slide my laptop in this spot right here. And so that's where I put my laptop, put my drinks and stuff down in here. And it's got storage for just about anything you need. Um, so if you go on a ride, you're going to be able to carry anything you want to carry. It's extremely comfortable. So I went to the mountains yesterday and uh, I actually had this on my back while I went down. I think it was like a mile and a half and back up a mile and a half. And I carried it on my back with no issues. I wasn't sitting there constantly adjusting it or anything like that. Really comfortable. So that's definitely a plus. Now for waterproof testing, it doesn't ever claim that it's waterproof. But I wanted to just give it a go anyway, so I filled it up with clothes and uh, laid it down and sprayed it with a hose for probably about five minutes straight. I mean, just constant spray with a hose. The stuff inside the main pocket didn't really get wet at all. There was like a couple drops in the bottom. But uh, these side pockets definitely let water in, so that's something to keep in, uh, keep in mind. So these little side pockets, they're not really water resistant, so I don't recommend if you think it might rain or anything, putting your phone inside of those side pockets. But up here, I've got a lot of confidence in it. I trust uh, having my laptop in it or something while I ride to work, even if it does uh, rain, just because it's not going to get hit with nearly the water that I put on it. So that's something to uh, note about this. Now, this obviously is not waterproof. This is padded, and um, this did get wet, but it's going to because it's not a waterproof material. Now, this is another thing I found out on my own now. They don't claim that it's going to keep your drinks cold, anything like that, but uh, whenever I put a Red Bull in it, probably around 9 a.m. in the morning, and I pulled it out probably about 2 p.m. after I went down the mountain to the waterfall back up, um, the drink when I pulled it out was still kind of cold, which is surprising because last time I went down there with a regular book bag, my drink was temperature is outside, so that's really cool. I'll let some of my friends check out this bag too. I mean, their opinion's the same as mine. It's really nice. I mean, it, I guess that's to be expected. If you're the number two company for making saddle bags, you'd probably be pretty good at making book bags too. And that's why I wanted one by them because, you know, plus I was just curious in general if a riding bag really made a difference. And it definitely does, um, riding with it. I do notice if I'm wearing like a, a thick jacket like this one, if I've got my straps too tight because it is so solid, this part right here does push up on the back of my helmet if I'm sitting wrong. That's also due to the R3's back seat kind of coming up and this catching it, but not a big deal. Um, plus, I mean, it was just a little bit of a posture adjustment and it was no issue at all. The price on this guy, I think was roughly around 70-ish dollars. Don't quote me on that, but I will put a link in the description. Um, if you want to check one of these out for yourself, definitely worth it in my opinion. I've got no complaints about it whatsoever. Um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when you're actually wearing it. So as you can see, it's a pretty slim design. It doesn't get in your way. I can even sit down in chairs without it really bothering me. So that's one thing I like about it. 
is being able to still kick back in chairs and relax. And just because it's not huge and bulky, but it still carries everything that you need to carry on a daily basis. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. You all have a nice day.